Hello, Base family, and welcome to Everything Base. Uh, we're moving on with technical development, uh, technique development, Unit 15, and uh, this one is it's bigger than what I just wrote down. And for the sheet music, if you guys are a subscribing uh, member to uh, my Patreon account, um, I just wrote out for the first four examples, but it's something you can take farther. So I want to kind of give you the concept behind the exercise, show you what's done, and if you just do what I show you, and that's fine. But if you want to take it farther, you hopefully you'll have the resources to do so. So this exercise combines playing the arpeggio with the matching scale in the key. Now we're doing today in the key of G, which means that we start measure one. We start by playing the G major seven arpeggio, G, B, D, F sharp. We play those as eighth notes, one and two and. Now, when we're gonna play the next half of the measure, we jump all the way up to the octave G, we play 16th notes and we descend the Ionian or major scale. Now I should pause for a second and realize the key of G has all natural notes, but F is sharp. So if you know your fingerboard, you'll be able to take this uh, exercise all the way through um, all seven modes. So we do G. Now next measure, we start by playing the A minor seven arpeggio because that's the second step in the key of G. Uh, and we play the A minor seven arpeggio, eighth notes. We go up here on the uh, 14th fret A, and we descend the Dorian mode, like that. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Dorian, check out the video Modes 2, Dorian mode. It'll show you how to play it and how it's constructed and some different fingering ideas for it. But for now, you can just realize you're playing A, C, E, G, Go up to this A, play all natural notes until you get to the F, which is sharp. There's the F sharp. All right, next measure, we're doing B minor, because that's the third step in the key of G, B minor. And we're gonna play B minor seven arpeggio. Now we go up to the B, but now we're playing backwards, we're playing the B Phrygian mode. And then again, you can go and check that out on my channel to learn how to play it. But, but basically you start on the B, you go B, a, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B. So it sounds like this put together. Now lastly, we, we go to C and we play the C major arpeggio, major seven arpeggio. Jump all the way up here and play C Lydian. Now if you're like, hey, whoa, slow down cowboy, I don't know what C Lydian is. Well, you actually have all the parts to be able to just learn it for yourself. Go up to the C. Descend, play all natural notes until you come to F and sharp it. C, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C. Now that's as far as I've written, but obviously you can go through every one of the chords found in a harmonized G major key, or a harmonized major key. And likewise, now that you understand the concept of mixing an arpeggio with the scale and, um, and doing some shifting and all that stuff, you can change the key every day and, and do it in a different key. Um, if this exercise, you're just like, I am so lost. Maybe there's some, maybe it's, you know, you need some foundational information to get you there. A couple things I would suggest. One is go back and, uh, or look for my videos on the different arpeggios, major triad, minor triad, down, uh, diminished triad, augmented triad, and then the seventh chords. Major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, minor seven, flat five. Watch those videos, take your time, don't hurry through them. Have your bass with you, play through those. I also think it's important to learn the intervals. So if you go study my, there's six uh, video series called Understanding Intervals. If you watch those, that'll help you with some of the things I said about today. And of course, getting comfortable to where the, your neck, the notes of your neck are, you may wanna go through my hyperneck study, which is a way to practice the neck. It's a kind of a unique way, but it's shown to be very, um, successful in all the years I've been teaching. So that is Technical Development uh, Unit 15. Um, let me know what you guys think. I know I kind of breezed through it quickly, but uh, with the support of the written material for you who subscribe, you guys that subscribe to my Patreon channel, by the way, thank you, um, or just watching the video, pausing, checking it out, and then put it together. This is really the combination of just technique exercises, but with training your brain to think about it. Sometimes we can play real fast, but we're just playing the same old patterns because we've memorized a muscle memory and, and we just rely on that. A way to break out of that is to practice your technique but thinking of a particular thing. We're thinking about a key, 
We're playing our pages and scales through every chord found in that key. I hope that makes sense. Um, you know, as I'm saying this and going through this video, I'm sure there's going to be questions for you guys, and that's what the comment section's for. Please just share the comments. I uh, try to respond right away. And uh, if it's something that you're not comfortable posting in a comment, just email me directly at dtitus at daletitus.com. Okay, so uh, I'm going to a really deep cut today for our encore item. And um, it is an artist. The, the story behind this is kind of funny because when I was teaching at Musicians Institute, um, sometimes we'd have guest guitarists planning to come by and um, they would ask me to uh, play, you know, if the guy needed a band to play along with, they would ask me to play and that was really nice of them. I got to play with some amazing players. Um, and so I was sent because, um, well, the, the album I'm doing today is the album that we were going to play and it was Infra Blue, Infra Blue by Joey Tafoya. Um, so Joey was scheduled to come to the school and he needed a band to play along with and um, the, his management sent us the CD. It's so still the same CD I have. And so uh, I put it on in the opening track, which is Infra Blue. Uh, oh my gosh. The bass player on there, and, and I hope I pronounced this okay, is Joey Onder, O-N-D-E-R. And wait till you hear this guy's technique and his speed and clarity. I mean, I remember putting on the track, pushing play, and going, okay, I'm going to play with Joey Tafoya. And hearing, oh my goodness, uh, okay, this is going to be hard. And the whole album, there was just great musicianship and um John, you're an amazing bass player, amazing bass player. Um, and I think Divine Intervention came around because, and I can't, I can't recall for life me why, but the, either we were canceled or he decided to play with play along tracks. But for some reason, I didn't get to play with him. And honestly, I feel like I dodged a bullet because that album is brilliant. Um, I did look around and it is available for streaming. I believe you can still buy it, but I didn't see it on some of my um, things. So you may just be, this is one, I usually encourage you guys to buy copies of the album to support the artist, but maybe the best thing you can do is just stream it. Um, so I found it on Spotify. I still have my CD, but check out this. Uh, Joey's a great player. In a time when a lot of people were being signed, a lot of guitarists were being beside, signed because they were amazing shredding guitarists, Joey had something different about him, and I really appreciate it. There was a uh, infra blue about him. There was a a, a blue bluesy kind of quality at times. Um, uh, I just really thought he was a phenomenal player. And even though I never got a chance to play with him, this was on heavy rotation for years and years and years. And and just listening to John's bass playing, man, what a great player! What a great player! So yeah, I thought about it today. Yeah, as I was putting together, I thought, you know, who's, you know, here we're doing this technical exercise or technical video. Who's really the guy, you know, or who's one of the guys that really impressed me with this technique? And it came up to John. So um, check out the music, check out this exercise, and let me see. Let me know how it goes, man. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to see uh, the progress you're making with your technique. Uh, as always. I really encourage you to join our Facebook group. Uh, it's been growing huge lately, which is great. And we're just all sharing ideas. Um, I, I'll post stuff daily there. Um, sometimes I, I share a video that I want to highlight and point out. Um, I have a thing called um, Slapper Day, which is every Saturday I post a slap video. Um, so anyway, it's just a lot of fun. And you can find that by going to Facebook and searching everything bass with Dale Titus. You have to include the with Dale Titus because there's an everything bass Facebook page, but you want well, you might want you try both. Um, all right, guys, it's been so much fun hanging with you today. And I look forward to next time we can uh, uh, share some ideas. All right. Take care and be well.